My dear countrymen, here is an announcement. It is with the greatest pleasure that I announce to you today the overthrow of the corrupt regime of Daniel Toroy teacher Moy by the patriotic forces of our country. As I speak to you now, our country is fully and firmly under the control of our armed forces. Every care has been taken to make the revolution as bloodless as possible. Fellow Kenyans, over the past few years, this country has been shedding from an open to a closed dictatorial and inhuman society. The fundamental principles for which many of our people sacrificed their lives during the heroic struggle for independence have been compromised in the interest of a few greedy and irresponsible bandits. Over the past six months, we have witnessed with the disgust the imposition of a de, a de jure one-party system without the people's consent, arbitrary arrest and the detention of innocent citizens, censorship of the press, intimidation of individuals, and general violation of fundamental human rights. This ruthless oppression and repression is reminiscent of the past colonial days which Kenyans thought were buried at independence. A gang, a gang of local tyrants has emerged whose only function is to terrorize and intimidate with senseless warnings, rampant, cor rampant corruption, tribalism, nepotism has made life almost intolerable in our society. The economy of this country is in shambles due to corruption and mismanagement. The cost of living in Kenya today is among the highest in the world. Wanainchi can no longer afford to meet the basic requirements of life due to exorbitant prices of the basic necessities such as food, housing, housing rent, transport. Above that, Kenyans are among the highest taxed people in the world today. Wanainchi, under these circumstances, our armed forces have headed the people's call to liberate our country. Once again, from the forces of, of oppression and exploitation in order to restore liberty, dignity, and social justice to the people. In doing this, we have proved to the rest of the world that no individual or group of people can permanently subjugate or take away the freedom which our fathers and grandfathers so gallantly fought to bring to this country. Like the, like the British imperialists, the same fate will befall whoever attempts to tamper with our freedom. Countrymen, it is not the intention of the military to stay in power indefinitely. As soon as the situation allows, elections will be held and one inch will be given an opportunity to choose their leaders. Our immaculate task is to stamp out corruption and set out a concise program of development for Kenya. We will continue with the original policies which this country set at independence and which have been eroded over the years, thus giving rise to the current 
sad state of affairs. A number of administrative and security measures will be announced in due course. This revolution is entirely an internal affair and our friends have nothing to fear. We will strengthen relations with our neighboring countries and we will continue to champion the policy of non-alignment and non-interference in the internal affairs of other countries. As for now, the constitution has been suspended and the National Liberation Council has been set up to preside over the affairs of the government and state. All the detainees and political prisoners are released forthwith with immediate effect. Long live Kenya. Long live the People's Redemption Council. Thank you very much. This is a statement on behalf of all the students of Kenya. On behalf of the students and the people of Kenya, we, the University of Nairobi students, register our wholehearted and unconditional support for the August 1st revolution organized by the Kenya People's Redemption Council. We humbly request our new popular government to accord us the freedom we have always cried for. Thank you.